and welcome to the weekly oral climate change news. I'm Alexandra, and in this week's episode, we're discussing the following. Climate change is increasing the effects of droughts. New Mexico hit hard by the drought. EU's new climate law. Restored forests restore hopes. Cities cannot afford climate change protection measures. Asian cities hit hard by the climate change. Cutting methane, a strong lever to tackle climate crisis. So shall we begin? Climate change is increasing the effects of droughts. A recent study by the Joint Research Center approximates drought-related costs in Europe could increase to over 65 billion euros per year by the year 2100 as a result of climate change. Global warming will cause more frequent and intense droughts in southern and western parts of Europe. As a result, agriculture, public water supply and other economic sectors will suffer expensive damages. Still, drought-sensitive areas have a chance to adapt to these damages through water conservation practices and development of drought-resistant crops. New Mexico hit hard by the drought. Mexico is experiencing the worst drought in 30 years, and residents have been left without access to water. According to NASA Earth Observatory, almost 85% of the country has been facing the drought since April 2021. The capital, Mexico City, is one of the places that has been hit the hardest. Droughts are considered as one of the major consequences of climate change. EU's new climate law EU has moved a step closer in approaching the new climate change law as European parliamentarians have voted to adopt the law. Under this law, EU aims to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030, compared to its 1990 levels, and to eliminate them by 2050. The law also requires EU to engage scientific experts to advise on future climate policies. Many green lawmakers who were hoping for more ambitious goals were among those who voted against. Restored forests restore hopes. A team of scientists from the WWF has estimated that a cumulative area of forest the size of France has been restored across the globe since the year 2000. These forests were restored naturally either through removing invasive plants, limiting livestock access, or simply leaving them alone. According to conservation groups, this new forest had the capacity to absorb up to 5.9 gigatons of carbon. Forest regeneration must be paired with ending deforestation in order to mitigate the effects of climate change. Cities cannot afford climate change protection measures. A survey of 800 cities carried out by the Carbon Disclosure Project shows that last year about 43% of them, representing about 400 million people, did not have a plan to adapt to the climate crisis. One in four cities around the world, mainly for budgetary restraints, do not have enough money to protect themselves against the ravages of climate breakdown like flooding, overheating and water shortages. Besides, only a fraction of post-pandemic recovery plans addresses directly the need of climate change adaptation. Asian cities hit hard by the climate change. Asian cities face the greatest risk from environmental problems associated with climate change, according to a report by research firm Verisk Maplecroft. Globally, 1.5 billion people live in 414 cities that are at high risk from pollution, water shortages, extreme heat and natural hazards. According to this report, out of 100 most vulnerable cities in the world, 99 are located in Asia, 37 of them are in China and 43 in India, the world's first and third biggest emitters of greenhouse gases. Cutting methane, a strong lever to tackle climate crisis. Atmospheric methane, which accounts for almost one-fifth of global greenhouse gas emissions, is a dangerous air pollutant. According to a new UN Environment Programme assessment, a cut of approaching half of emissions by 2045 would prevent an estimated 260,000 premature deaths 
save nearly 800,000 asthma-related visits to hospital, and prevent 73 billion hours of labor lost because of extreme temperatures and annual crop losses of 25 million tons. Drastic methane cuts is the strongest lever we have to slow climate change over the next 25 years. Thank you for watching. This was Alexandra for the weekly World Climate Change News. I hope you find this interesting, and if you do, subscribe to our channel and see you here next week.